Yosemite's ghost volcano. Wait, there's a what under Yosemite? Picture this. You're hiking through Yosemite National Park, snapping photos of granite cliffs, sipping overpriced trail mix and marveling at waterfalls when you realize you're standing on top of an ancient supervolcano. One that could have, at one point, made Pompeii look like a barbecue mishap. Scientists call it the ghost volcano because it's not visible like Mount Fuji or Yellowstone. It's hidden, buried deep beneath those scenic rocks and waterfalls we all romanticize. But make no mistake, it once roared with molten fury. So how did this volcanic beast vanish without a trace? How did geologists even figure it out? And should you be worried? Welcome to Infinicia Verity, and today we're digging deep literally into Yosemite's hidden supervolcano and the geological ghost story it left behind. Long before Instagram hikers and park rangers in flat hats, Yosemite was a war zone, not of armies, but of tectonic plates smashing into each other like drunk sumo wrestlers under the Pacific. Around 90 million years ago, the Farallon Plate, rest in peace, was diving under the North American Plate. This created a pressure cooker situation underground with lots of magma, heat and volcanic drama. But instead of erupting explosively like Vesuvius, most of that magma stayed underground, forming giant pools of molten rock called plutons. These slowly cooled over millions of years, hardening into the granite that Yosemite is famous for today. Think of it like baking a cake underground, but you never take it out of the oven, it just hardens in place. Voila granite! Geologists call this massive underground magma cake the Sierra Nevada Batholith. A fancy way of saying, here's a mountain range made from frozen lava. Yosemite is just one glittering slice of it. But here's the twist. Recent scientific studies revealed that this wasn't just a slow cooling magma zone. There's strong evidence that parts of it actually erupted, forming a massive volcanic complex that was later buried and eroded away. That, dear viewer, is the ghost, a long dead volcano whose bones now make up Yosemite's most iconic cliffs. Let's rewind to the Cretaceous period, roughly 100 million years ago when dinosaurs ruled the Earth and California was, well, still full of seismic drama. Beneath what's now Yosemite, a fiery subduction zone was brewing up magma like it was prepping for a volcanic buffet. Geologists believe this region wasn't just a passive plutonic formation, it was once home to a volcanic arc, similar to today's Andes. This arc may have included stratovolcanoes, towering explosive cones, belching ash and lava right over where Half Dome now proudly stands. But time, erosion and uplift erase their peaks, gone like an unsaved word document. But how do we know it existed at all? Enter the heroes of this story, Xenoliths, geochemical analysis and seismic tomography, basically rocks with receipts. By studying the isotopes and mineral layers deep beneath Yosemite, scientists realized that the granite wasn't just granite, it was the plutonic twin of an ancient volcanic system, meaning the stuff that cooled underground was once part of something that blew its top above ground. In 2020, a study led by Maya et al. proposed that the remnants of this ghost volcano are actually detectable today through gravity anomalies and rock chemistry. Parts of the Sierra Nevada, including Yosemite, sit atop an ancient collapsed volcanic structure, possibly a caldera now deeply buried. Translation, Yosemite might have once hosted an eruption that rivaled modern supervolcanoes just long before humans were around to livestream it. And here's where it gets spooky. Some geologists believe that what we see in Half Dome, El Capitan, and the rest of Yosemite's jaw-dropping cliffs are not random granite formations. They're vertical slices of ancient volcanic plumbing systems, magma conduits, dikes, and sills frozen in time and uplifted by millennia of tectonic grinding. Half Dome, that might have been the hardened plug of a long extinct volcano. You know, 
the part that jammed the volcano's throat before it exploded. Imagine hiking to the summit of that and realizing you're literally standing on what used to be the volcanic cork. Even weirder, there's a possibility the region experienced multiple eruptive phases, creating layered volcanic fields that were later bulldozed by glaciers. That's like nature deleting its browser history. But don't worry, this ghost isn't coming back. Unlike Yellowstone or the Long Valley Caldera, Yosemite's magma chamber is stone-cold dead. The volcanic system is considered extinct, meaning there's no chance of it reawakening. It's more of a geologic ghost story than a doomsday scenario. Still, the implications are huge. Understanding Yosemite's explosive past helps geologists map out how continental crust forms, how magma behaves over millions of years, and more importantly, how supervolcanoes leave behind clues even after they're erased from the surface. It's not just rocks, it's like reading Earth's ancient diary filled with secrets written in minerals and fractures. The discovery of Yosemite's ghost volcano didn't trigger mass panic or Hollywood disaster movies. Thankfully, instead it rewired how scientists understand the Sierra Nevada's birth story. No longer just that place with granite and climbers who don't use ropes, Yosemite became a case study in how volcanic systems evolve, die and get buried. It's also helped researchers improve models for locating hidden calderas and extinct volcanic arcs, which, as it turns out, are everywhere, just usually disguised as very boring-looking mountains. For hikers and tourists, this revelation won't change much, except maybe make their Instagram captions more dramatic. Standing on an ancient volcanic throat hash, ghost volcano vibes. But for geologists, it's gold. Literally, since such regions are also hotspots, no pun intended, for finding valuable mineral deposits like copper, gold and rare earths. So while Yosemite's ghost volcano won't erupt again, it's definitely making noise not with lava, but with knowledge. So, next time you gaze up at Yosemite's towering cliffs, remember you're not just looking at pretty rocks, you're staring into the petrified heart of a forgotten volcano, one that once shook the earth, spat fire, and then vanished like a ghost at dawn. It's a reminder that Earth keeps secrets. Beneath every mountain lies a buried story, waiting for someone to read between the layers. If that blew your mind like a caldera eruption, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss another ancient mystery unearthed. Got a theory or a wild volcanic fact? Drop it in the comments below. We read them all, even the ones in all caps. Because here at Infinitia Verity, the past isn't dead, it's just hiding in the rocks.